If you're trying to match the hatch, here's a nymph that you need in your fly box. The gold-ribbed hare's ear. In his book, Handbook of Hatches, Dave Hughes recommends this as a match to a lot of different clinger nymphs, also known as the flathead nymph, for obvious reasons. The common name for the nymph in the video is a green drake. And here's another one that's called a western light cahill. You can see different colors, different patterns. Both can be imitated with a gold-ribbed hare's ear. The hare's ear nymph. So a lot of people don't tie the tail with fibers from the actual hare's mask. I'm going to tie the tail even rougher because I'm not going to take the underfur out. You can take the underfur out and you'll get a little more streamlined tail. I've got a hare's mask here that's dyed olive. I'm using some olive 80 unithread and I've got a standard size nymph hook. Also calls for gold tinsel. I'm going to use some oval tinsel from Semperfly as my ribbing material. And it's traditionally made with a hare's mask. This is a hare's mask that's been dyed olive. And we dub the abdomen, the back part, with lighter fur, usually use the cheek fur. And I'm gonna trim off some of this fur that's on the cheeks of the hare's mask to use for the abdomen. For the thorax, the front part of the abdomen, we would usually use some of the hair that has some guard hairs in it. And you can see this in the middle um, has some guard hairs. And so I'm gonna trim some of that out as well. I'm going to set it aside over here. And I want to get guard hairs as well as under fur. Now I'll say if you have a mask that you're going to use to tie with, you get one of those trimmers like you might use for a hair, hair trimmer, sideburns, mustache, something like that. Uh, you can shave this hair off. And if you do, I would shave off the lighter hair on the cheeks first and then shave off the darker hair in the center later but you can see I've got kind of a darker and a lighter pile of fur and now I need a tail and I want guard hairs for the tail and so I'm gonna pull up the longest guard hairs are probably right here and I'm just gonna snip I'm looking for six or eight guard hairs strip off anything that's just kind of hanging on and I'm gonna tie in my tailing and you notice I start on the side and then my second loop pulls it up to the top and if it's not long enough I can lengthen it a little bit and once I have the tail in place I can clip off any excess fibers this is a very buggy nymph and about six inches of oval tinsel and I'm going to tie that in on the side near me Take the thread back to the tie-in point of the tail and then come forward a couple of wraps put that in my material spring. Now I'm going to start with the lighter material and there are lots and lots of ways to mix up dubbing. One way is by hand. You can use a coffee grinder. You can use a food processor. One of the more interesting ways to mix up dubbing uses a plastic bag and you know plastic bag appropriate to the size of the dubbing you're trying to mix and compressed air so we put the dubbing in the bag poke some holes seal the bag and leave a little space to stick the compressed air in and hold the bag There's your dubbing mixer. Now that our dubbing is all mixed up and fluffed up, by the way, um, we want to take a little bit of dubbing. And then, you know, the rule on dubbing is less and is more. So um, I want to get just a little bit out and apply it to the thread. And then work back to the point where the bend is. And I want a little bit of a taper on the back end of this. And I want to work up two thirds of the way and build a little taper. Notice this is a very buggy little nymph. Now that we have the abdomen done, we're gonna counter rib 
this abdomen. We really don't have to counter rib it. In this case, we're not trying to reinforce anything. So we're at a couple of wraps in front. And now I'm going to tie in a turkey feather. This will be my wing case. I want the thorax of this fly to wind up being somewhere about a third of the length of the shank. So there's that. We'll take a few wraps on it and we'll grab our darker dubbing. And we want the thorax to be a little bit bigger than body. And so a little bit bigger and slightly darker. So we'll take several wraps over there. Notice that because we put both under fur and guard hairs, we've got guard hairs sticking out here. So now we'll just fold the wing case over. And we'll take a couple of wraps over that. And then a couple of wraps in front. Clip it off, a couple more wraps to even up, grab the whip finisher. And now you can clean up as much as you want to here. This is typically a buggy fly. That's a hare's ear. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for all our videos and tight lines.